Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. For this project, you need two pieces of felt. I'm using two 12 by 18s that I picked up from Michaels for only $1.99, a measuring tape, a ruler, a pair of scissors, something to mark with, and push pins, which are optional. First, you want to fold a single piece of felt in half. Measure to make sure that it's exactly half the width. Find the center and use the measuring tape to measure out the widest radius that fits. This would probably be easier with a circular shaped object to sketch out, but I don't have one so I just made points at 6 inches all around and kind of connected the dots. Um, and since this doesn't have to be exact, it really works out just the same. This step is optional, but I like to pin the front and the back together so that when I cut the circle out, it doesn't move. Go ahead and cut the first circle out. The circle nor the cut has to be super precise. Um, because after you sew it, it's going to get cut again. Go ahead and fold and pin your second piece. I'm using the world's cutest and smallest little baby clothes pin to pin the first circle to the second. And I'm just going to cut right around it. Ta-da! Now you have two circles. Choose one of your circles to be the inside circle and then measure out a smaller circle inside of that. You're going to cut that out and it'll be a head hole. I'm cutting a 3 inch head hole but you can use whatever size you feel like you need. Cut all the line the half circle that you made, making sure to get the front and the back side so that it's a full circle when you open it up. Pin the two circles together with the pretty sides facing each other. So completely around the perimeter. I'm using a zigzag stitch to secure the sides together, but you could actually use liquid sew, E6000 glue, anything like that if you don't have a sewing machine or if you don't know how to sew. From a scrap piece of felt, cut out a little two inch dingle dop i don't know the little thing that goes on top of the hat i really have no idea what that's called i don't even know if it has an official name but yes just like a two inch little scrap and it's going to go right in the middle on top i'm using a seam ripper to cut a little slash out right in the middle and it's going to fit just right through the center
I folded the beret in half, pretty sides facing each other, and I'm just going to do a straight stitch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to secure the little dingle dot. <laughs> The way that I folded in the dingle dop kind of shows the thread a little bit because it pulls and because I was too lazy to switch to thread that actually matched the beret that I was making, it shows a little bit. I'm just going to use some ColourPop red liquid lipstick to cover that up, but you can avoid that by using the same color thread as the beret you're making. Or paint. <laughs> and those are the finished berets. I will spare you guys my... French accent if you didn't catch it in the last lace video but as always thank you guys for watching if you recreate any of my DIYs don't forget to tag me on Instagram um if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time